Rob from No BS Selling on eBay. Coming to you tonight, it's a uh, Tuesday night, probably around 6.30 or so, maybe a little later. Uh, I'm going to talk tonight to, to you tonight about um, taking time to post pictures, categorize, and things like that and put your stuff on eBay. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of e uh, videos from Chris at 10K on the Bay, Luke from Endless Entrepreneurs, I still cannot say that word. And um, Steve, I think it's Steve or Jason at Prop Sales. These guys, you know, other than Luke, are full time. Steve at 10K on the Bay, from watching all his videos, almost is good for him. More power to him. He's doing a pretty phenomenal job on his videos, and they've helped me out. So same as Luke and uh, Prop Sales. But the one thing I've noticed is these guys seem to be able to knock out a listing in under a minute. Um, I don't know how they do it. I mean, <clears throat> I'm pretty computer savvy, but I take my average on my items, you know, the clothes that I'm doing right now, four to five, maybe a little, you know, at most 10 pictures if they're really detailed or there's a flaw or something I want everybody to see it. But I can't do that in a minute. I just don't see how they're doing it. Um, realistically, it probably takes me from taking the photo, writing the description, putting it on eBay, maybe 10 minutes, five minutes maybe. I think probably 10 minutes is pretty extreme. I mean, I have a fast computer and things like that. It all comes down to me typing things in and making sure I got the right price point, making sure I've done the research and the keywords. The keywords are huge. Um, you know, right now all my ties I'm having to trying to kind of reword, categorize them, maybe pop up from some certain things, only because there's so many of them. And there is a lot of ties. And, you know, I've sold a few ties, but I still have a huge inventory. You know, may have a garage sale, maybe that'll, you know, liquidate some of the stuff that way. Who knows? Right now, I'm just leaving them on there. They're on a 30-day <coughs> auction or buy it now, and we'll see what happens. I've reduced the pricing on them. Um, I'm, you know, charging shipping. I wasn't before, but I've gotten burned. Not burned, but I've had to pay a little bit out extra. So now, one of the things I do when I, and I hadn't done before, and, and this is probably a big problem that I'm just now fixing. Before I list an item, I weigh it. Before I wasn't doing, I was just guessing. Which, if you're trying to make any type of decent money, or make some money back on eBay, you got to know your stuff down to the exact penny. And which is bad for me because I'm in a county that kind of looks like a, you're not checking your numbers. So it's always checking your numbers. And another thing with posting on eBay is it's the amount of things that you can post. Realistically, like I said, I can't do that many posting. And I'm not at a point where like, you know, 10K on the Bay has people posting for them. You know, I got teenage daughters, maybe I could pay them to do it, but they're not going to, you know, do it for a dollar per post. Like I think Chris down there pays his guys or people to do it, maybe he pays them a little bit more than that, I don't know. But I know I can't get my daughters to do that. So, <clears throat> you know, kind of how it happened over the weekend is, uh, you know, jumping forward a little bit on my video here is about sourcing your product. Just saw recently a, a posting from a 10K on the Bay where he was talking about something to do with Goodwill. Now, I haven't seen the video. Um, I was at work when I got the notification. You know, something's going on with Goodwill. Well, yeah, the one thing going on with Goodwill here is the prices are going up. So, you know, again, do you try and buy high and sell high? You're not going to make that good of money. That's another thing I've noticed too with eBay buyers. They want a deal. They're not going to pay a huge amount of money for a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts or a pair of shoes. If I, you know, my new theory and my new motto is I'm going to make money by volume. And there it goes as a problem. The more I have to put on, the more time I need to put them on there and list the stuff, and I don't have it. So, I mean, last night I was doing stuff until almost 11.30. I get up at 4.30 in the morning to get ready to go to work because I have an hour drive to work. And then I'm there eight, nine hours and then drive home. So 
do the math, I really don't have that much time to post things. So, but the one thing I have been doing is I'm buying things now in bulk. And I'm going for bulk over, say, high quality. Because I've bought the high, you know, the high dollar jeans. You know, I just got a pair of, um, I'll show you these. I just got these in. They are, and I saw this on uh, Luke from Endless Entrepreneurs. They are, you can see them, cabby, cabby jeans. I got them online. The shipping, I think I paid like 10 to $12, maybe a little bit more. And then I've got another pair of Miss Me jeans, size four, but according to my wife, I bought junior jeans. I thought they were women's, see? Got the nice bling, I don't know if you can see it. Somewhere in here it says Miss Me Jeans. No, there he's running my fingers, figures. Miss Me Jeans, same thing, I think I paid probably 10 to $12, including shipping. So, you know, those jeans are going for maybe $24, $25. You know, I'm probably going to list them for 15, charge for shipping, make five to six dollars, and that's how I'm going to do it. That's the only way I really can see to do it. The other things that I picked up over the weekend too, if you can look over here, and pan down here, shoes, Doc Martens, down there, more lady shoes. These are stuff I'm going to donate because I went through this hall right here. If you look behind me. Women's dresses, jeans, and some blouses, looks like, and sweaters and things like that. Scarves. Now, I bought this stuff uh, from Craigslist. And then I got a, a suit. From, I don't know if you can see it or not. That's from Goodwill. This is one of the things I just picked up yesterday or Sunday, posted it last night, it sold right away. It's a Columbia soft shell, that's what I was just telling you about, I got a bunch of them. I got these from the lady who bought the stuff on Craigslist. Well, I got more shoes down there, so more shoes way down there. But the point is, I paid like a man, like I said, like a dollar ninety-five per item. Are they high-end items? Some of them are, they're not really that much, you know. There's some uh, guest jeans. I think there's something else up there that I don't remember what it was. Oh, and um, some who very very short shorts, Hollisters. You know, I know Hollisters. You know, not that high end of a deal. Um, American Eagle. You know, so I'm probably not gonna get. You know. All of these things came with the deal. They all came in one package. So that's what I'm trying to say. 10K on the Bay had the thing about where he was buying only in bulk. Well, it makes sense now as the more I get more into this, you know, eBay business that I'm trying to get to and to where I can buy a new car and make a car payment solely from eBay. But I also now have a, you know, planned trip for my wife's birthday coming up. She wants to go to Disneyland. So, you know, Disneyland, you know, that's a thousand dollar weekend maybe a little bit more depending on where you stay where you eat the car rental and all that stuff getting into the park so i averaged it out for me to pay for the disneyland trip without any money out of my pocket i have to sell an average minimum price of ten dollars per item and i need to sell quite a bit to get to that range now will i be able to do it between now and i think it's july or august we're going possibility but then here's the deal I have to buy more product so the money that I'm selling on eBay I'm doing like Chris at 10k on the bay is we're rebuying re reinvesting it I'm trying not to touch that I pay myself back what I paid out of my own pocket plus the shipping and the rest stays in my PayPal account so you know will I be able to do it I hope so I really do I mean we're gonna go Excuse me, it's just a matter of how much out of my own pocket do I have to pay to go down there for a family of four. So, and last time I checked, it was 225 per person for two-part. 
So you do the numbers there and you figure out what I've got to come up with to make that trip a little more easy and less out of my pocketbook. But here's another thing too, you know, like Chris was saying, Savers, Goodwill, any of those places right now are catching wind to resellers. I was in the other day with my daughters at, at Savers. I've been in there hundreds of times. I don't know how many times I've been in there, I've lost count. Before I was doing this, before I was flipping things, I had somebody ask me, come up and ask me, am I a reseller? Because I was buying women jeans. And I was buying a bunch of them, which I haven't even posted those yet either. Those are down here and ready to go, and it's just, again, it's a matter of time. But anyways, back to the story was, I told her no. And she goes, I go, why, what's the matter? You know, what's the big deal? She says, oh, we've been having a lot of uh, resellers coming in here and cleaning everything out, and, you know, people are getting upset. And I'm like, well, isn't that the idea? Aren't you supposed to sell the items? Isn't that the whole idea? And she goes, well, no, we don't want them to resell it. I'm like, what do you care if I come in here and I spend $300 worth of jeans that aren't mine, they're not for me, they won't fit me, or I buy blouses, I buy shirts, or I buy shorts, you know, women's shorts, whatever, it doesn't matter. So that's what I kind of discussed with her. I'm like, what do you care whether or not I'm a reseller or I'm just an average day person in here trying to get a deal? She goes, well, we just, we're trying to get away with it. I said, so what are you gonna do, post a sign up front saying no resellers allowed and we have to give you some kind of card that says we're a reseller? How are you ever gonna know? You won't. So who cares? And she got kind of snooty about it. I was like, whatever lady. I said, I don't care. If I spend $300 on women's bras in here, I'm gonna spend $300 on women's bras and you can't say a damn thing about it. And if you do, then I'll talk to your manager. Cause I was gonna approach the manager. Listening to some things that I saw from Chris on 10K on the Bay, trying to get in there and buy the stuff before it actually gets out on the rack. Now with that being said, probably not gonna happen. I'm probably just gonna go in there, you know, on my coupon days and clean the shit out and do the best I can. But here's the thing, when I get them here, I'm not listing them for the huge amount of monies that everybody thinks they should be. Because again, I'm going for volume over quantity, or not quantity, but price. You got to think about that again. That's like when you have a yard sale. You're selling that stuff to get rid of it. You don't want it, but you're not gonna give it away. So if I buy a pair of jeans, like these things I've got sitting up here, you know, average dollar something a per, per jean cost, you know, they're under, they're probably just over a pound. So they're gonna probably cost, I know the customer probably anywhere from $10 or less. I really don't know where they are. I have started selling internationally, so that's something I wasn't doing before, so I'm sure that's a factor that's going to be a problem. I don't know if it's good to do that or not, but I'm going to try it. You never know. Somebody in Sweden may want a pair of Miss Me jeans, size 4, boot cut. Whatever. You pay the money, it's yours. I don't care where it is, I'll ship it. So, the point is, the jeans that I bought, these down here, the ones I just showed you earlier, yeah, I paid probably way more than I should. But if you factor in, again, this is the number thing, you factor in the cost of the gene, okay, we know what that is. You factor in my time going to get them, there's gas, maintenance on the vehicle. I have to go and search through all this stuff to find them when I can do it online in the comfort of my computer drinking coffee. Pick my stuff up, order it, and it comes to me. Over there, I have to go get it. I have to, I have to find it. Time. And usually when I go to these places, I've got my family with me. So then I have, we have to go eat. There's $40 right there just to go eat. And that's eating cheap. So you factor in those things on top of me buying the jeans. So the ones I paid a little extra online for, not that bad of a deal. But I'm not going to sell those things for $24, $25 just in a way. I'm probably going like to said, list them for $15. And then they'll pay for shipping, so they get them for $20. But I make my money. May not be a huge amount, but I'm going to do it in volume. So I guess, you know, my next video will be coming up shortly, I hope. 
um, whenever I have time because obviously tonight I'm not going to do any posting. It's getting late. It's probably 7.30 or something like that. Or I don't know what time it is, but I've got to go pick my daughter up at the gym. i got to come home. i got to eat my dinner and get ready for work tomorrow. i got to do some posting. i got to do some editing on my eBay stuff, but it comes down to time, money, and time management. Those three things, if you can figure out how to do them, you can make money on doing this on, eBay, on selling on eBay. It's just a matter of buying your product and getting it at a good price. I recommend that you buy it in bulk if you can. Bulk can be consistent of a couple of things. On eBay or anybody else, if you buy something, two is considered bulk or a lot, which doesn't make sense to me. That's only a pair. It's not bulk. It's not a lot. It's a pair. But that's what everybody's categorizing that. So you think that you're getting a good deal because you're buying two at $25. Well, if you divide them up, that isn't that good of a deal. You know, I guess you could, you know, it isn't bad. If you can get free shipping, then it's a good deal. Because there's the key. I don't buy anything on bulk on eBay, Amazon, or wherever I get it from unless I get free shipping. If I don't get free shipping, I don't touch it. It just ain't worth it. Unless it's something that's just, oh my God, I got to get it. Now, I've seen it on eBay. It's going for great money, and then I'll do it. But at 9 out of 10 times, I'll pass. So, so in closing, again, you know, my thing is, again, time, money, and how you manage your time. Three things that you really got to focus on. Those three things are the key. You can manage those three, or two if you want to just call it time and money. Two things. It's not that hard, but in an every day-to-day -day life, when you have a full-time job, family to deal with, all the other things that come with being a family or father, mother, whatever, time is huge. Time is huge. Money is huge. You don't want to waste your time, because if you do, you're wasting money. So keep those thoughts you know, in your head when you're doing this stuff. You know. You just got to understand that I'm coming to you, to you as straightforward as I could get. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to tell you like I see it. And, you know, again, the guys that list all those videos and great power to them. Some things are helpful. I've learned a lot from all of them. So, you know, hats off to them. Keep going. But that's what they do, except for Luke. That's what they do all the time. So, anyways, uh, with that, in closing, people, have a good night. Good hunting. And uh, get those things on eBay and let's all make some money. Talk to you next time.